When organizations build and execute their strategy, there are a number of gold standard components that they put in place. One of these components is the market matrix, or as it's sometimes known as the playing field. The market matrix is a best practice that organizations and consultants use in order to answer two key strategic questions. The first of these questions is, where do we play as an organization today? And the second question is, where could we go and play as an organization in the future moving forward? So let's jump into the market matrix. The market matrix has two axes, offerings and market segments. Offerings are the products and services that we as an organization put on the market. And market segments are the customers we serve, in terms of channels, for example, as well as geographies. The market matrix itself explores existing, adjacent, and new. So existing offerings, for example, are the products and services that we have on the market today that we sell. And market segments are the customers that we serve, both in terms of the channels and the geographies, where we're present today. So the intersection of these, the intersection of an offering, and a segment is known as a market space. And here in blue, you can see our existing market spaces, where we play today, where our revenue is generated from. We then have adjacencies and entirely new areas. So adjacent areas of offering, for example, are products and services close to what we do today, but with some refinements, some adaptation, some iteration. Whereas entirely new offerings are entirely new products, entirely new services, not related to what we do today not close to what we do today. Adjacent and new market segments are as follows. So adjacent market segments are close to who we serve today, but with some iteration, some adaptation. So for example, it could be the same channel, but in a different geography, or a channel that's close to who we serve today. Entirely new market segments are just that, entirely new. We don't serve those customers today. We don't serve those geographies today. That's the market matrix, that's the big picture. And now we're going to dig into a few specific strategies that organizations employ in order to maximize where they play today and where they could play. The first of these strategies is known as market penetration. And market penetration is when organizations focus on increasing sales of existing offerings to existing market segments. So it's specifically related to where we play as an organization today. So this could see organizations employ pricing strategies, employ sales strategies, employ marketing strategies, and so on, in order to better increase revenue, better increase gross margin, better increase sales or adoption of their products and services in the market segments they serve today. And that's market penetration. Now let's take a look at adjacencies. In adjacencies, just as we said before, this is where we look at areas, either products and services or market segments that are close to what we do today with some adaptation. And there are a few options here. There's what's known as product extension, where we focus on introducing an adjacent offering to existing market segments. And then there's market extension, where we focus on introducing existing offerings, those products and services we have on the market today, to adjacent market segments. Finally, we have limited diversification, Limited diversification is where we may introduce adjacent offerings into adjacent market segments. Finally then, let's look entirely at entirely new areas of our market matrix. And when we look at entirely new areas of our market matrix, there are a number of options, a number of strategies, a number of approaches that emerge. So in the top right hand corner, we have product development. Product development is where we introduce, so we develop and introduce entirely new offerings, so entirely new products and services to existing market segments, to the customers that we already serve today. Now let's go to the bottom left-hand corner. The bottom left-hand corner is the opposite, it's market development. So it's where we focus on taking existing offerings, so the products and services that we already have on the market, but selling them into or introducing them into new market segments, market segments that we don't serve today. Partial diversification either focuses on introducing adjacent offerings into new markets or adjacent market segments with new offerings. Finally, we have diversification or what's sometimes known as total diversification in the bottom right hand corner there. And total diversification 
is when organizations focus on introducing entirely new offerings into entirely new market segments. One very high level example of this is Amazon. If we think of where Amazon started, Amazon started as a e-commerce online book retailer. That's what they did. It was their absolute core business. Today, they have a wide variety of businesses, but one of these is AWS. It's a cloud-based service, B2B, completely unrelated, completely detached from their original e-commerce book retailer business. So they moved into an entirely new offering in an entirely new market segment, total diversification. That's a high level overview, a high level introduction to the market matrix and some of the strategies that sit within it. And next time we'll look at some of the other key components that sit within organization's strategic plan, operating plan, and then refresh of their strategy. Thanks very much.